Her. welcome or welcome back to my channel before we get into this video I see you see me so I want to see you press subscribe and become part of the bam bam so you guys today's video is going to be me just going over my natural hair journey so if you're interested in this video then just keep watching Will you stop laughing at me? Okay guys, so when I first started my hair journey, it was in 2010 I started my hair journey. My hair was really bad heat damaged and I really didn't know what I was doing with my hair. I was just literally going to the salon and getting my hair done. Um, I would go to the salon every two weeks and get my hair done. It was just the thing to go get your hair done every two weeks get it flat ironed, washed deep conditioned all of that so i never did my hair i was always um going to the salon pretty much like i just said and getting my hair done so by the time 2010 came along that's when like the natural hair community on youtube really started and I was like, okay, I want my hair to grow. I'm getting sick of my hair always being around ear length. It was always very thin. And when I washed my hair, my hair never really fluffed up. It would just be really limp, noodle looking hair. So I was like, okay, a change has to be done. And at that time, my sister actually was the one that started watching YouTube videos. And I was like, hey, what are you watching? Like, what are you doing? She was like, oh, I'm learning how to add hair um, when I'm braiding. And I was like, oh, well, maybe I should start trying to watch YouTube videos to learn how to braid hair. But my little sister already knew how to French braid. I didn't know how to do French braids at all. I would normally just wear my hair in this bun looking so crazy or if I didn't have my hair in like this this nappy weird looking bun my sister would just braid the crown of my head and then the the back of my hair would be out and I wouldn't necessarily moisture I wouldn't moisturize my hair or do anything to my hair so when she started watching YouTube videos, I was like, okay, so what are you doing? Like, let me see what you're doing, and I will try to... Son. I said, okay, I will try, like... No, eat. So I said, I will try to, like, do weaves or whatever, but then I ran across Natural Lady 5, and Natural Lady 5, like, really was doing her own hair twisting her own hair being more of a simple natural so it was just a lot easier for me to adopt natural 85's hair routine than it was to follow a lot of other girls on youtube um at that time it's like you only had like three natural natural hair females on YouTube and it really wasn't that many. So after I after I learned how to do natural lady fives mini twist, then that's when I really noticed is like my hair does not flourish very well when I do natural mini twist. I noticed that I had a lot of breakage at the top of my hair from the natural mini twist, especially when I go and take down my So I just noticed that I was starting to do like a lot of bigger braids in my hair, which I have bigger braids in my hair now, but my bigger braids were so unorganized, like they were so uneven and I really didn't like the way that my bigger braids looked, but I noticed that I was retaining so much more length when I was doing my bigger braids. So as the time went on, like throughout the years, I just noticed that my braids started getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's where my natural mini micro braids came from was when my hair got thick enough around the crown area basically just trying to make sure that i'm doing bigger braids to actually protect the crown of my hair and making sure that my hair was not breaking off and i noticed when i was doing mini twists my hair was breaking off and i was having so many little little flyaways in my hair when i wasn't having many twists in so like the takedown process was so difficult when i had mini twist in my hair and I noticed when I was doing 
big braids my hair was actually flourishing but i just didn't like the style of my bigger braids and i was just like dang like what can i do to make my braids look so much better so i just started trying to part my hair which i am not the best parter and i'm still not good at parting my hair so i think about this time i was about three years into my natural hair journey when i transitioned into doing bigger braids so i was like oh my goodness like it's been three years i got length but i'm seeing all these flyaways and after i transitioned into doing braids i was like okay i'm seeing length and i'm seeing bulk now so like the the my hair started bulking up and it wasn't as thin because i wasn't snapping strands of my hair off so as i just kept going on through my hair journey i was just like okay braids is the way to go for me because my hair absolutely hates when i do mini twists i can't wash my mini twists i can wash my mini braids and my hair is flourishing so much better when i do my bigger braids and then as the time went on like i said before it's like i just started my braids started looking smaller and smaller and smaller and i started leaving them in longer times and that's really how i grew my hair over the time like the the consistent products that i've always used have been the main and tail products and the Cantu products that's what I really started out using olive oil and water like those was my staple hair products from me starting out and till now like my staple hair products has still mane and tail Cantu olive oil and water and that's what my hair has flourished and grown with I did test out products here and there in the midst of like me doing my natural hair journey but for the most part is like trying out a whole bunch of different products i noticed that my hair didn't like that and i noticed that my hair would always have a setback when i was doing different hairstyles or different products like i did try box braids twice when i first moved here to seattle i had box braids in and my aunt did those and i didn't clean the hair i didn't like prep the hair i didn't wash it or anything and then after i took those out i think i only left those in for about like two months and i was really nervous didn't know what to do with my hair but i noticed that my hair really didn't like to be in weave so i just started trying to do my own thing and then i also tried weave probably three and a half years ago and i just noticed that my hair did not like being in those box braids as well i did do the apple cider vinegar rinse i did clarify and clean the hair but my scalp still itched really bad and i just kept my natural hair journey really simple you guys i just stuck with the same products i didn't do a whole bunch of coloring my hair i didn't go to the salon i haven't been to a hair salon in 11 years and i think it's even been a little longer because when i started my hair journey i had already stopped going to the hair salon probably two years before that and i started flat earning my own hair because i was about what 18 17 then i think when i was about 16 i actually stopped going to the hair salon and getting my hair done on a regular because my dad would pay for me my mom and my sister to get our hair done and by the time i was 16 i was just like wow i shouldn't still be allowing my dad to pay for my hair like to get done and then i had got my own job but then i was just like hey i can actually just try to do my own hair and flat earn my hair at home home and that just caused more damage to my hair because i didn't know i didn't know what i was doing at all so i literally just kept my natural hair journey so simple i went from short broken off hair to long thick hair and i grew my hair with protective style like i can't stress enough how much i 
grew my hair with protective styling and watering my hair like a plant every day like when i first started my hair journey i made sure i was spraying my hair in the morning and at night with water in the morning and at night morning and night and then i will be massaging my scalp making sure that i was trying to get that blood circulation to my hair i was making sure that i was drinking water eating healthy exercising like when i first started my hair journey and growing hair i wanted to try to do every natural thing every natural thing that i could do to allow my hair to flourish and grow naturally instead of trying to do the quick route like i think every natural wants their hair to grow really fast when you first like start this whole hair journey thing and it's like oh my goodness like i just want my hair to grow like three inches in a month and then once you realize it's not gonna grow three inches in a month you actually have to have patience and time to nourish your hair back to health then i think that's when a lot of people just be like oh well like it's not growing i don't want to do this work i don't want to go any further and it's like that's the point when you need to push past that because at that point you're probably only a year into your natural hair journey and that's what i was i was about like a year into my natural hair journey and i was just like oh my gosh i'm sick of this like my hair is not growing like it's growing out this way but i don't see the length i wasn't using heat anymore i don't know if i mentioned that but i completely went cold turkey on using heat and just started doing a lot of heatless styles i wasn't even doing a using a blow dryer to deep condition or any of that like i had to stop using heat completely so around that year and a half mark was really when i wanted to give up but i really wanted to make this video just to encourage you to keep going strong even after that year and a half mark like keep going strong because that's when you're really going to start seeing your length especially if you're not mixed and you're black and you have type for c hair type 4 b hair you guys know i hate to hair type but especially if you have those hair types when you get around that two and a half three year mark that's when i really started seeing my length that's when i really started seeing a big difference that's when i really started seeing a really big difference in my hair and my hair really started flourishing so you guys just hang in there if you're really wanting to see growth and progress i mean literally patience is key so if this video really helps please leave comments down below if i helped you guys if i helped you guys grow your hair from wherever it was to mid back length please leave a testimony down below so everybody can see like the value is good here that you're getting and also let me know if you're starting a new hair journey let me know where you are in your hair journey and once again guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you guys bye